Hey, as a content creator for YouTube, having three channels going successively, a lot of material gets put into the computer. So for extra storage, I am uh, had to purchase a 14 terabyte external hard drive. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and use. We'll be right back. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Yeah, as I said in the bumper, I create three channels. Uh, this one, Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Another one, Southern Oregon Safari, where Buffalo roam. I also create uh, Jerry Hansen's Art Studios. And with those three channels, yeah, I've got a lot of um, data that's going into the computer. Now, my computer's hard drives are just so big. Uh, and I've been at this for about nine years now, so over time, got a load of data. So I went ahead and purchased another hard drive. I wanted to share with you guys how, I do, how easy it is to hook up and add to your existing computer. It just plugs in through a USB port. So let me unbox this and show you guys how I've got my system set up. Yeah, this is my fifth hard drive external hard drive and i've got three uh embedded into my computer already a lot of data so let's get this unboxed and show you how easy it is to set up with my experience has been real easy plug and play uh you can get them at best buy and this is where i usually get them except this one i purchased off of amazon i'll go ahead and leave a link down below so here's the hard drive yeah, the external hard drive. That's it. And there's the back. You've got your power cord that plugs in there, and you've got your data cord that plugs into there. Here is your USB power uh, data cord. And notice the difference in the ends. Yeah, this part is the one that plugs right into the back of your hard drive, right in that special slot right there. Power cord. This is your power cord. And it, uh, it's got one outlet right here. It's real easy to find your port. Plug it in. And you're set up and ready to go. This is plug and play. So check out what it does on my computer when I plug it in over here. So I'll go ahead and I'll open the file. Let's see, let's put it on the PC. Because this is where it's going to show up, right in here. You can see how many hard drives I've got in there already. So let's expand that and go plug it in. Now I've already preset a, a, a place for it over here, ready to plug into the USB and also ready to plug into the outlet. So let me show you. These are the four hard drives that I have set up here already. They are linked up with this gang USB port that's plugged into a, uh, a it, it's, I think it's like a 12 foot U, uh, USB extension cord that threads down through the floor under the house and then over up where my phone lines come in into where my computer is and plugs into the back of the computer. So I can gang up a lot of USB ports right there. I'll also leave a link for that uh, the uh, gang uh, plug for USB ports and also the USB extension line and then also I'm gonna give you a link to purchase uh, another hard drive this is 14 terabytes my other hard drives are 10 and 12 I got three tens and one 12 and then I've got this 14 so this is what my setup right down here as you can see, I have my chargers for my cameras, but I have my uh, outlet right here, but I have a gang outlet. As you can see back there, it's got all the spaces for uh, 
plugs to plug into. I had to move my battery chargers out of the way because I ran out of room here. Plug it in here. And then plug it into the outlet. And you notice the light came on here, so everything's activated. I'm going to space them out a little bit because I need some airspace between the hard drives. And then it asked me to install that stuff for there. So it put it on uh, Easy Store J. That's where it's going. So see how it's empty right there. It says 12.7 terabytes. So there's some uh, information on there already. So we close that out. And here's the Easy Store right there. So that one's empty. So now what I want to do. <clears throat> is move some data into there. So I'm going to create some uh, subfiles. Uh, let's just uh, hit new. And then this one, this one's going to be exclusively for Southern Oregon Safari where Buffalo roam. All of that data is going to go on there. So I want to uh, right away uh, create a subfolder, a folder for B-roll, and another folder for season one, another one for season two, another one for season three and another one for um what did i name it i think video for, oh, okay video production and that will contain the files that i have the um intro on and the uh the theme tune on uh, and that's where I'll keep those files that way when I can you know, go into this at a, at a glance and I know where to store everything so uh, here after the first of the year I'll add a season 4 file now for this b-roll we're gonna add subfolders we're gonna add a uh, subfolders for um, one for in, in Infrastructure one for elephants, one for rhinoceros, and keep adding them but the bison, the horses, and for the cats, I'll make uh, cats and the subfolder in them to categorize all the cats because we've got lions, we've got tigers. We've got uh, leopards, uh, caracals, lynxes, so we'll add all those in there. That way when I need to grab a subfolder or a uh, B-roll uh, image, I can pull it out of here real quickly and put it into my production. So you can see how easy that's going to be. Um, so right now I'm going to show you how to put, uh, see here's my Buffalo Rome file. I've got season three and I'll take this folder and I'll drag it and drop it right over into season three. And now what it's doing is it's taking it off of uh, uh, the hard drive that I have it saved on, uh, hard drive F, and I'm moving it over to my hard drive J. And that way I have all my Southern Oregon Safari or Buffalo Rome data on one hard drive. There's a lot of data. We've had like 14 shows this season with a lot of 
behind the scenes stuff. So it just takes all the files and puts them in there. And it makes it easier for me. What happened was I became a successful YouTube creator with Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. As you could see the uh, silver award we got earlier this year. And when I met Hayden down at the store, his daughter told him about starting a YouTube channel, but he didn't know the first thing about starting a YouTube channel. So when he met me, he ended up asking me to help him start a YouTube channel and we became fast friends. At first I thought I was just going to be behind the scenes, be the cameraman, have him to do the uh, show. But he told me, no, we're going to do it together. You're going to co-host. So that's how it evolved uh, in season one where we met. Uh, we started filming and the show just took off from there. We're just trying to get enough subscribers so we can get his show monetized uh, and then work out for him. And that way, uh, if I have to, when it comes time to transfer the, everything to him, the show to him, I can just take the hard drive over and he could use it on his computer and they can take it from there. In case something happens to me, but... Uh, yeah, I'm getting old. You never know what's going to happen from day to day, month to month. So this is not so much a product review on these Easy Store Western Digital hard drives. It's more of a how-to. And as a, as a YouTube creator, how I'm backing up all of my data safe on these hard drives. Now, some people are complaining that some hard drives are actually deleting the files. And they lose everything. Don't panic. Your data is not lost. There is a method for uh, retrieving lost data. So the data didn't get erased. The data is still in your hard drive. It's just the address got deleted. And the computer doesn't know where to get that file. But there's a free software you can download. And um, it's called Recuva. R-U-C-U-V-A. Uh, download that. And you'll need two hard drives. You know, the one that uh, is uh, that has accidentally got deleted. As soon as your file get de gets deleted, turn your computer off. Don't do a thing with it. Uh, uh, I'll explain shortly. Because what happens is your um, uh, get this another hard drive. It should be a little bit bigger than your original hard drive, and that's how you're going to work it. So to retrieve your data, re download. Recover, then go into the hard drive that got files deleted and then start recovering. And what Recover does is it gives you the options of the type of files you want to recover, whether it's documents, uh, digital images, or video. So it gives you the selection and tells you, it also asks you where you want to store it. My caution is when you lose data on a hard drive or the, the address gets deleted, the data is still there. What happens if you start programming stuff back on there, the computer doesn't know that data is in there, but those cells are occupied with it. What it does is it overwrites those. And when you start overwriting information onto that hard drive, then you lose that data. Yep. So the best uh, practice is turn your computer off, separate that hard drive, get a separate hard drive, and then get your recover going and then extract all of that data from the foul hard drive and put it onto your new hard drive and you get your addresses back, you get your data back. So it's not lost. It's still there. You just have to know how to go get it. So that's an extra, a homestead hack. Well, I hope that helps you. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, where our frugal homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up. Go on over to Southern Oregon Safari, where buffalo roam, and check out our channel over there. We're showing elephants, a rhino. We're showing ostriches, bison, horses. Lions, tigers, yes, and even bears, oh my, tortoises, yeah. So uh, go on over there and please, please, please subscribe over there and here. We'll see you guys. Be safe. Always be kind. Bye-bye now.